my Flagstaff home. If you've been watching my videos, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing the same shirt, but it's because I filmed these intros all on the same day. So I don't wear the same shirt every day. But um, anyway, today's video is about hummingbirds. And I get so excited when I hear that first whistle of a hummingbird going through my yard because it lets me know that summer really is around the corner and, um, and that it's, um, it's not so far away. I live in Flagstaff, Arizona, which is in the mountains um, in northern Arizona. We have weather that is not typical of what you would think of when you think of Arizona. It's not the desert. We get lots of snow. In the winter, we get snow. In the spring, we don't have air conditioners on our houses because it doesn't get hot in the summer. And so, um, so we're just, we're always just kind of thinking, when, you know, when is summer coming? And then the weather will get nice for a couple of days and it'll be in the 70s and we're thinking, oh yay, summer's gonna come early. And then we get four inches of snow. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. We had that happen. We, had, we got snow um, on May 9th and we got snow again. We got probably three and a half inches of snow on May 9th and we got, um, I don't know, a couple inches of snow on May 15th. I mean, seriously, that was late for us. But anyway, so you can see why we're all kind of waiting, just waiting for summer to come. And I always know that it's just around the corner when those hummingbirds show up. The ones that are in our area, we have, apparently there are like five different kinds of hummingbirds in our area. Um, I, I don't know that I've seen five. We get one called a broad tail hummingbird. Those are usually the first to come on the scene. Then we get a ruby throated hummingbird. Now the broad tail has a, the male has a kind of a reddish neck and the ruby throated just has a deep, dark ruby colored neck. And then, um, and, and then I don't know that I've seen any others except that in about July, we get this one little hummingbird called a rufus, which is tiny, just tiny and rust colored. And man, are they bossy. The other ones have all kind of, you know, established their little territory on the four feeders in my yard. And then the Rufus comes in and says, excuse me, I'm owning everything here. And they just drive everybody off. And then it gets real vicious out there with all the hummingbirds um, going around. But, but the broad-tailed and the ruby-throated make a really interesting whistling sound that is made with their tail feathers, apparently, the outer part of their tail feathers. And so, um, so that's how I always know is I hear a whistling outside and I think, ah, let me get the feeders out. And sure enough, a couple weeks ago, I put out my feeders and just got tons of hummingbirds. And so it has been so fun to watch them. I'm going to show you some clips here. I'm gonna show you the feeders in my yard where I keep them. And then I'm also going to show you a few little clips of these little guys. Uh, flying around in the yard, mostly drinking. But I encourage you to go over to my blog at myflagstaffhome.com where I wrote a post about hummingbirds and I got a little bit, um, not really poetic, but you know, kind of reflective about them. And I got some really good uh, shots of them, still shots of hummingbirds. And it's a short post, so I would love it if you would go over and read that. I'll link the exact post in the space below. Otherwise, you can just go to myflagstaffhome.com and it's in a section called um, uh, Encounters with Nature, I think. And, um, there's a little list of categories that are on that blog. So anyway, I'll stop talking and let you see the hummingbirds and the feeders in my backyard. So I have these two hummingbird feeders hanging on a tree. And then over here, I have another feeder hanging. All of them are the same kind. I tried a different kind of hummingbird feeder and they didn't like it. So I figured, you know, don't mess with a good thing. So they seem to like these. Well, I think we have a hummer that's gonna come down here. Yep. There it is. Oh well, <laughs> okay. Now you'll notice that a couple of my feeders have red uh, food coloring or something in 
in the water and um, that is actually not necessary to do they'll they'll drink it if it doesn't have anything and it's probably better not to put stuff in it that may have preservatives and things like that the reason I have red in a couple of my hummingbird feeders is because I bought two new ones and they came with a packet of mix um, and it was red so that's why I'm using them but it, it isn't necessary to do that Over here I have one more of those feeders and then I have this pretty thing right here and this one is a uh, this one I just keep water in. Um, for one thing, hummingbirds need to have water, um, not just um, sweetened water, but they need to have actual water to drink. And this particular feeder, while it's really pretty, when the water warms up, it kind of leaks out the bottom and each one of the little globes leaks and then um, the sugar water would uh, drip down and I'd get it attracted ants below the tree and so to avoid that with this particular feeder I just put uh, water in there so it looks really pretty and they have a place to get water and I don't attract ants. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's just always such a fun time for me. We have the hummingbirds here from this time of year. Usually they come in May and they stay. And like I said, the rufus comes in July and then they're all cleared out usually by September because we get a freeze uh, by about mid-September here. So they're all cleared out by then. So I just enjoy the time that they're in my yard and they're so much fun to watch. Once again, I encourage you to hit that um, little um, uh, link to my blog so you can read the post about the hummingbirds. And um, anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. If you're not currently subscribed to my channel, just hit that button right there. YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos, which is once or twice a week. It'll be more frequent this summer. It's a lot to show you, so I hope you'll come along with me on my Flagstaff home. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.